I'm so happy to have this next guest with us today because it's such an interesting topic. Joining us today is Philip F. Smith, who's helped countless companies launch, scale, and even exit their business. He's made the Inc. 5000 list of fastest growing private companies five times now, and has also partnered with Kevin Harrington, who's one of the original sharks on the Shark Tank TV show. He's here to discuss how to avoid making costly mistakes when trying to scale a business. Hey, Philip, welcome to the show. Yeah, thank you for having me. So first, congratulations on making the Inc. 5000 list of the fastest growing private companies for the fifth time this year. That's a wonderful and really remarkable accomplishment. Is there anything in particular that you can point to that's helping facilitate that kind of extreme success for you? Uh, the number one thing is getting into the right business. You know, not every business can scale, especially since I'm still a one employee company. So I use a lot of automation, a lot of software, a lot of technology. Uh, the main business that I am in is the lead generation business where we basically generate leads for us and our clients and we monetize them. So that's the, the number way to do it because in order to make more money for us, we just got to spend more money. So once you figure it all out, you can just uh, raise the roof and it goes as high as you want. So I understand you're launching a chief marketing officer consulting service to help companies not make those kind of costly mistakes relative to needing more automation or when they're not able to scale well. So what exactly does this particular service entail and what kinds of companies is it suited for? Well, it's suited for any company. I used to own a consulting business that got acquired back in 2010. And I, over the years, I have worked with IBM, Intel, HP, AT&T, companies of that size. Uh, so large companies, fine. The, the largest companies are not my, uh, the greatest companies to work with, to be honest with you, they're way too slow for me. But we like the small, medium business, so it doesn't really matter the size. But the the reason why I'm actually, we're getting back into these types of services is because we have seen so many companies over the years have come to us that you know we haven't worked with, we just met, uh, networking, et cetera, who we learned that they just made a lot of mistakes. They hired the wrong people and we try to help them out just as friends, colleagues or whatever. So with Car Kevin Harrington and some other people uh, on Kevin's level, we decided to get together and say, let's create a service offering and let's really help companies not make mistakes. So that's where we're at. Well, I'm glad you mentioned Kevin Harrington, who's one of the original sharks on the Shark Tank TV show, of course, because I was going to ask you about that. What's the nature of that partnership? And is he engaged in that chief marketing officer service that your firm offers? And really, how did that whole relationship come about to start? So I actually met Kevin back in 2018. I got interviewed by him. And then at that time, I actually pitched him to become my business partner. So we've actually done a lot of things together. Uh, in the last few months, uh, I was actually traveling and just popped in my head. I'm like, you know what? Let's create like some sort of CMO service, some sort of chief marketing officer service to just help companies out and uh, and build that as another revenue stream. It also backs into a lot of other stuff that we do with our PR services. We have an all-in-one marketing software. Uh, it's a platform with like 15 tools in one. So it's really just encompasses a lot of the stuff that we do to help companies grow, scale, even exit their business. But that CMO service is going to be the cream of the crop for us uh, to really dive into a company and really help them out. But yes, he 100% is involved in everything that we do here, um, whether it's through this existing business or some other businesses that we have. So he already does this. He actually took uh, the drink Celsius uh, about seven or eight years ago. We started working with them and did a lot, brought the Kardashians in and some other celebrities, built that marketing strategy. And that recently hit an $11 billion market cap. They're a public company. Uh, Pepsi bought into them, did a big partnership for distribution. So this is something that technically we've all been doing already here and there, but now we're just making it a formal service. Nice. And you mentioned that your firm has other more singular drill down services, which includes public relations, which is near and dear to my own heart. So can you articulate for the audience how PR can help build a brand, whether that's a personal brand or a business brand? You know, it's funny. A lot of people come to me over the years and say, you know, what should I do to grow my business? And it's always been digital marketing, figure out your funnels, you know, figure all that stuff out. When people come to me today, I say, build your brand. 
uh, mainly because I started learn I started doing it myself when I started seeing the impact of it by being interviewed on TV, getting published online. I was in Inc. Magazine last year because of the Inc. 5000. So all those things I started seeing for myself because I never put a lot of time into building my brand. Even though I started my first business in 1998, I've been part of five acquisitions. I never thought about building my brand. But in the last uh, year or so, I started putting more effort into it and it's really been a game changer. So we, it's funny because everything I do for myself business-wise, I usually turn around and say, well, let me help other people out with the same thing. So we get people on TV now, we get them published, we do all this stuff. But branding, you can't beat it. Personal brand is much bigger these days, right? I mean, usually it's a corporate brand or some sort of business brand, but there's a lot more personal brands being built today. That's what I do. That's what Kevin does and a lot of other people that I know. It's all about building your personal brand as well as a business brand. And I know there's a lot of effort that goes into all of that. So you mentioned it previously, but you have this all-in-one marketing software platform that I understand can automate an entire marketing strategy, which is pretty remarkable as a tool. So tell us how that works. Yes. So the <laughs> so because we do this every single day, because we use so many different softwares and we spend so much money on everything that we do, what happens is we know inside and out what a business needs. So we decided to create a, create a service around a software to help people eliminate logging into five different softwares, paying for five different softwares, learning five different softwares. And it's just an all-in-one solution. But we also take it one step further because we do know that it is a lot. You know, not every business owner is a marketing person or understands software can teach themselves everything. So we really provide more of a done-for-you service. So when someone comes to us, it has SMS marketing, email marketing, landing page builder, website builder, has a dialer, has reputation management, has one inbox for all your social media accounts because who wants to log into seven different social media accounts to answer people? So it, it's just great. It's a lot more than just that. Uh, but we actually set it up for everybody, build out landing pages if needed, build out all the automation if needed so you can hit the ground running. But it really is a game changer and it is 100% a lot cheaper than going out and spending all the money on all these different softwares. As a marketer myself, I can really appreciate just how powerful a solution that is and how it can certainly help folks avoid making those costly mistakes, especially when trying to scale a business. So thanks for coming on the show to share a bit about it with us today. Yeah, no problem. I appreciate you for having me. To learn more about Philip and the services he offers, just go to philipfsmith.com. 